What does one billion dollars in AI research get you? The future. Guys, we are at CES 2016. The Toyota press conference just wrapped and it was all about artificial intelligence and it really has me excited. Now, Toyota's our sponsor, but I'd be covering this anyway because AI is about as forward thinking as you can get. You see, Toyota has developed the Toyota Research Institute, a $1 billion investment to make AI better for vehicles and beyond. Gil Pratt, who is the CEO of the Toyota Research Institute, took the stage to explain how AI in cars is really good at routine driving situations, but when you throw in the unexpected, things change. Cars can't adapt and innovate the same way that people can. And so if something unexpected happens, the car might not be able to react the proper way. You have to teach cars how to do that, which is a difficult AI problem and has implications well beyond vehicles. Imagine teaching AI how to extrapolate and innovate. That's human level intelligence we're talking about. It's really exciting stuff. Beyond that, they're going to apply this strategy to other products, not just cars, but also mobility for indoor situations. So if you're a person who needs assistance to get around, Toyota's looking at using this artificial intelligence research to develop new products to help you. And if you're someone who normally wouldn't be able to drive a car, this research could change that world forever. We're talking senior citizens, people who might have a disability that would limit their ability to drive a vehicle, could all enjoy more freedom and independence using this style of technology. And Toyota has assembled kind of a super team, a who's who of robotics from DARPA and MIT and Google and other organizations. They really have the top brains thinking on these problems. I can't wait to see what comes out of this research because it's going to affect far more than just vehicles and robotics. We're talking about a fundamental shift in artificial intelligence research. There's nothing more forward thinking than that. Guys, I have a question for you this week. What would it take for you to get into a car that could take over at a moment's notice should it need to? I'm ready to sign on right now, honestly, but I wanna hear your thoughts on the subject. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks to Toyota for letting us cover this event. And hey, don't forget to check out these other amazing videos right over here.